Hello YouTube, it's Ernie from Tech Masters here and today we're going to be explaining how you can set your controls up in MAME so that your controller works appropriately with all your games. And it's a fairly simple process. Uh, what you're going to need is a keyboard plugged into your Raspberry Pi. You're going to need a USB style controller. Any USB style controller will work um, pretty much and you can also set it up for Bluetooth with a PlayStation 3 controller. That's a separate video we'll probably be doing a little bit later. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see how to set that up. If you get enough comments, we're definitely going to be putting that in there for you. Okay, YouTube, uh, these are what you're going to need to run MAME on either a monitor or a television. You're going to need a controller. You're going to need some sort of computer, or in my case, I'm using a Raspberry Pi in a flirt case and then in order to set your controls up you're going to need a keyboard something equivalent to this or you can use a full-size keyboard that plugs in via USB um, you can get these on Amazon for about 10 to 15 dollars they are you know well worth their money for setting up MAME because it's portable you can plug the USB dongle into the Raspberry Pi it works right away and you don't have a bulky great big keyboard um, for just setting up your controls going to be going into MAME and the first thing you do is you get your controller and you enter MAME and you can pick any game it doesn't matter what game you pick um, we're gonna pick 88 games just because it's there and as you can see it's gonna start up does its ROM check and then once you're in as soon as you're in you take your keyboard that you have plugged in and you press tab and you're going to come up with this screen. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can set your controls up to where you only input what you want for this specific game. And there's some games where you want your control set up a little bit different. And that's the way you want to do it. But for the overall input, what you're going to want to do is select the input general. And on your keyboard, you just hit enter. And then you bring up this menu. With this menu, you can go down through... and with your arrow buttons you can select what you want to adjust and when you've got what you want to adjust um, for the, entering the config menu like I said we hit tab so if you'd want to change that you hit enter and then you press and hold the button that you want to enter the config menu I would never recommend changing that from tab because what can happen is sometimes you wind up forgetting what you changed it to you can't get back in or you don't hit a button fast enough and it goes up blank and then if you back out of this screen that causes a problem a couple of the ones you definitely want to uh, set up for your controller with though is going to be obviously your UI up down left right select and UI cancel UI cancel is what will let you get out of the game and we're going to set that one here. We'll hit enter. And we're going to use escape on the keyboard. And as you can see, it's showing none because I didn't hit the button fast enough. So we'll press and hold enter. Or escape, sorry. And then as you can see, it's now set up for escape. But you're going to want that UI cancel on your controller as well. So what you're going to do is you hit enter again. And then you press a button on your controller. If it's a PlayStation 3 style, a lot of times your uh, PlayStation button you may use, or you can use the back button uh, if you choose, or you can use a combination of two buttons, pressing back and start at once, um, and it will let you back out. And then, as you can see, it's set up for Joy Button 8 on Controller 2. Now, obviously, this is Controller 2. All of our controls up above are set up to be Controller 1, so we don't want that. So what we're going to do press enter again okay we've got up now we need to press and control there we go um, for UI down you use your arrow down on your keyboard press and control and we'll press down on the controller now we want to keep that on the keyboard as well so you press enter again press and hold down on the keyboard with the keyboard arrow 
and it will hold and then we're going to go through all of these press enter press left on your keyboard and then press enter and press left and you're going to go down through and you're going to do this for each and every one of these and as you can see it's not difficult to do and once you've got all of these set all you have to do and then for your UI cancel I had already set that up player one start select that just press and hold your button if you had a second player controller in you'd obviously want to do it for player two and then for your coin I usually use the select button on the controller so you can just press press that select button it's set up and then these are the controls where you actually are in game and it's the same thing you just wanna for these you don't have to have the controls set up on the keyboard you can just select it press up and as you can see I've already got these set and then for your buttons as well player one button one button two I usually go through and do at least six buttons you can do uh, eight or more if you're using a PlayStation style controller and then once you've got all this set you can back out you can go down to return to game and then now you can add your coins in start your game and you're good to go and that's all there is to it guys so obviously setting up your controls in MAME is not difficult you can do the same thing on the input for your game um, for a specific game you just instead of doing input general you do input this game and then once you've got that done you're good to go okay guys thanks for watching if you like this video if it helped you out please give us a thumbs up and if you like it enough and you want to see more of our videos please subscribe we appreciate all the support we're just starting out and we're hoping to make a good quality channel for you thanks a lot guys bye